We're balling out with some pro basketball this week on Studio 209. Studio 209. Eddie Ruiz here at Stockton Arena where we're covering a pro team, the Stockton Kings, part of the NBA G League. In their second season in Stockton, where these guys are chasing more than just a league title. We're talking a championship title, but first, they got to get through the Rio Grande Valley Vipers in the first game of the year, not the first game of the season. Let's check it out. Stockton's a sports town. I mean, anyone who wants to say anything differently, like, obviously it's not when you look at the facts. You guys are very competitive. Obviously, you come in second place in Pacific Division last year. This year, so far, first place, third in the Western. That looks good, right? I'm just saying. No, absolutely. I mean, our team on the court is, they're, they're a great team, no matter which way you want to look at it. You know, I was talking with our general manager earlier today, Anthony, and he gave me some updated stats. Over the last three years, the Stockton Kings, the Kings G League affiliate, has been number one in NBA call-ups, number one in overall team wins, and number one in unique call-ups to the professional level as well. So really, like, I mean, we're number one, man. You're watching the, literally the next NBA stars when you come out to Stockton Arena. I'm here with Marcus Graves, who, believe it or not, I mean, played for Sac State, which is pretty close here to Stockton, right? So. What brings you to the Stockton Kings now? I'm assuming you wanted to play some pro ball or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, I'm trying to, you know, start my pro professional career and just, you know, start off on a good note and then happy to be home and close to, you know, Sac State and close to, you know, a lot of family. So I'm happy to be here for sure. I'm here with Kyle, who is a national champion. I got to watch you uh, last year in the NCAA tournament. I'm just saying, man. So you go from that to a pro level. What's the difference kind of been like early on for you? I think the the thing that st stands out the most is just the level of competition from each individual player and it really doesn't matter at this level if you play good defense or not good players are going to hit good shots having had an opportunity to win a championship everyone's goal is the same so just to win that championship so it's what are we going to do differently than other teams and um, we think we have a, a really unselfish group that's going to play hard we've been playing well but honestly we think we can play a lot better which is crazy yeah uh, we're you know we're number one in the pacific right now but we feel like we let some games slip away from us that we should have had so we're just trying to keep building trying to keep getting better and you know see if we can play our best basketball by the end of the year group of season ticket members they bring out you know big fat heads of our players they hand out the the banger sticks that you can hand out to kids as they walk in and they've almost become like their own little pseudo mini company within the Stockton Kings So if this episode doesn't get you pumped up for some local NBA G League basketball, well then, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're not a basketball fan. Well, maybe you are, if that's the case. They have a three-game home stretch, so you got to come through and check them out. But first, a word from our sponsor, the City of Turlock Municipal Services. Now that winter is approaching and temperatures are falling, it's time for you to think about turning off your irrigation systems. From November 1st to February 28th, watering is limited to just one day per week. Even addresses may water on Saturdays and odd addresses may water on Sundays. And remember, watering is prohibited from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. For more water conservation information, visit the City of Turlock's website at www.cityofturlock.org. Man, the Stockton Kings are the real deal, which means they're definitely going to be covered in the future. Don't forget, check out this episode and all episodes again at studio209.tv. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe exclusively to our YouTube channel. So, for Studio 209, I'm Eddie Ruiz. We'll see you next time.